Number 9. If the sum of three consecutive R integers is 39, what is the largest of these R integers? In this question, we actually don't need to use any algebra to solve it because we can use the answer choices, but then we also have to understand some of the keywords. Let me show you how to do it. First, we are talking about R integers, R numbers. That means the numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, so on, so on, so on. As you can see in the answer choices, choice B is 12, that's an even number, that's not what we want. Choice D is 14, that's also an even number, that's not what we want. So we get rid of two answer choices already. And now we just have to kind of pick the other keywords and then let's put all the informations together. First, we have to talk about what does consecutive mean. Consecutive means that right next to each other. And then as you can see, we are talking about a set of three consecutive odd integers. Okay, and then as you can see right here, we are looking for which of the following is the biggest of the three integers, okay, the three consecutive I integers. And this is what we are going to do. We are going to use the remaining choices, namely the A, C, and E, and we are going to work backwards. So let me just show you how we can do this. Let's say, suppose that I think choice A is the answer, I'm going to check if 11 is the answer or not. What does this mean? Well, if A is the answer, that means A, the 11, it's the biggest of the three consecutive uh, integers. So this is going to look like this. We have three unknown you know, consecutive uh, integers, and the 11 will go right here because that's the biggest. And let me ask you, what will be the uh, integers before 11? It's not 10 because I want to look for an uh, integer. So the answer for that will be 9. And then how about what will be before 9? Well, it's not 8, it's actually 7, because we're only looking for R integers. So we are talking about 7, 9, and 11. And then what else are we talking about? We are talking about if the sum of the three consecutive R integers, if that happens to be 39, then we know that's the three integers that we want. So as you can see, all we need to do now, we can just add them up. 7 plus 9 is what? 16. 16 plus 11, that will be 27. But then this is not good because we're looking for to produce 39. That's the question, right? So that means answer choice A, it's not the answer because I didn't end up with 39, I got 27. So we can also get rid of choice A now. And we are just going to do it with choice C and choice E and pick up the right answer from there. All right, so to finish all this up, Oops, not, not B, I want to just do it with C because we got rid of B already. So if I'm saying C is the answer, that means we're talking about 13 is the answer, which means we're talking about 13 will be the biggest of these three consecutive R integers. The R integers before 13 will be 11. The R integer before 11 will be 9. And now let me add it up to see if there will be 39 or not. And let's do it. 9 plus 11 is 20. 20 plus 13 is 33. Well, I didn't end up with 39. So C is not the answer neither. And as you can see, we know that the answer has to be E now, right? But then let me just demonstrate what it means. So right here, E, which is the 15. So that means we have you know, three spots right here. And 15 will be the biggest. And the number before that will be 13, and the number before that, well, the R number before that will be 11. And after we add this up, 11 plus 13 is 24, 24 plus 15, it's exactly 39. And this right here match with the conditions that we have. As you can see, we have the sum of three consecutive R integers being 39. When we add 11, 13 and 15 all together, we did get 39. And then the question is asking us, which is the biggest of these R integers? Well, we know that 15 will be the biggest, and that's exactly how we get answer choice E to be the answer for this question. And that's it right here.